Why Men Love Bitches, From Doormat to Dream Girl, A Woman's Guide to Holding Her Own in a Relationship, by Sherry Argoff, is a self-help book that offers bold advice aimed at women who want to improve their relationships with men by fostering respect and equality. The title uses the term bitch in a provocative way, defining it as a woman who is strong, self-respecting, and independent, rather than the more common derogatory sense. The book is structured around various principles and tactics intended to help women navigate their romantic relationships with confidence and assertiveness. Chapter 1. Attraction Principle This chapter introduces the core concept of the attraction principle, which suggests that men are inherently drawn to women who exhibit confidence and self-respect. Argov argues that being a bitch in this context means a woman is independent, strong, and in control of her own life, making her more intriguing and desirable. She emphasizes that such qualities make a woman appear more challenging and therefore more attractive to men, contrasting this with the idea that being overly accommodating or submissive can lead to being taken for granted. Chapter 2. Why Men Prefer Bitches Here, Argoff delves into the reasons men are said to prefer bitches, explaining that a woman who respects herself and demands equal respect in return commands attention and admiration from a man. This chapter focuses on the importance of setting boundaries early on in the relationship, suggesting that a woman who does so is seen as having self-worth and dignity, traits that are attractive to a partner seeking a serious and fulfilling relationship. Chapter 3. The Dumb Fox The Dumb Fox chapter discusses the strategy of appearing slightly less intelligent or unaware in order to allow the man to take the lead while actually maintaining control and setting the relationship's pace. Argoff describes this approach as a way to stroke a man's ego and make him feel more confident while the woman is actually the one guiding the relationship's direction with subtlety and finesse. Chapter 4. Jumping Through Hoops Like a Circus Poodle This chapter criticizes the behavior of women who try too hard to please men, likening them to circus poodles performing tricks. Argov suggests that when a woman bends over backwards for a man, it often leads to her being undervalued and disrespected. She advocates for maintaining one's dignity and self-respect instead of engaging in a relentless pursuit of a man's approval. Chapter 5. The Big Misconception In The Big Misconception, Argoff tackles the false belief that being nice and accommodating equates to love and devotion in a man's eyes. She argues that being overly agreeable can actually lead to a lack of excitement and attraction in the relationship. Instead, maintaining a sense of independence and presenting a challenge can foster a more dynamic and engaging relationship. Chapter 6. The Importance of Being Bitchy This chapter emphasizes the positive aspects of what Argoff defines as bitchiness, being assertive, self-sufficient, and strong. She explains that these qualities are essential for a healthy relationship because they ensure that a woman's needs are met and that she is treated with respect. Argoff argues that a balance of kindness and assertiveness is key to a successful and equal partnership. Chapter 7. Nagging No-Nos Nagging No-Nos addresses the counterproductive nature of nagging and how it can erode the foundation of a relationship. Argov suggests alternative strategies for communication that involve expressing needs and desires clearly and respectfully, without resorting to repetitive complaining that can push a man away. Chapter 8. Crying Wolf The focus of this chapter is on the misuse of emotional expressions like crying or complaining to manipulate a man's behavior. Argov warns against using such tactics frequently, as they can lead to a loss of credibility and respect. She advocates for honest and straightforward communication as the cornerstone of a healthy relationship. Chapter 9. Cutting the Apron Strings Here, Argoff discusses the importance of independence in a relationship, advising against becoming too dependent on a man for emotional or financial support. She emphasizes that a strong, independent woman is more attractive and respected, and she encourages maintaining one's own interests, friendships, and career as essential to a fulfilling life and relationship. Chapter 10. Keeping the Mystery Keeping the Mystery explores the idea that maintaining an element of mystery can keep a relationship exciting and engaging. Argoff advises against revealing everything about oneself too quickly and advocates for keeping some aspects of one's life and thoughts private as a way to maintain intrigue and interest. Conclusion Throughout the book, Sherry Argoff presents a provocative yet empowering message to women, encouraging them to value themselves highly and to insist on respect and equality in their relationships. Her use of the term bitch is redefined as a symbol of strength, independence, and self-respect, challenging traditional notions of relationship dynamics. Argov's advice seeks to foster healthier, more balanced relationships through mutual respect and communication.